Hey, welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Namecheap domain and your web hosting together via what is called the DNS, your name servers. Now, that's assuming you bought your domain at Namecheap. We're going to walk through the process at Namecheap. If you bought your domain at GoDaddy, another big place to buy domains, I do have a separate video detailing that process, so you can click on the link to go to that video right about now. You're just going to need your web hosting's uh, name servers. Usually, there's only two of them. You have to sign into your Namecheap account, of course, and then you just paste in, enter in your name servers, and click Connect. Now, I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you already have your web hosting, but if you happen to not have web hosting yet or are wanting to change, here's a good option for you to consider. Go to MyEasyWP.com, MyEasyWP.com. That'll take you straight to this page right here, which InMotion Hosting made just for my visitors. I've been dealing with InMotion since 2013. Pretty big company, very reliable, fast web hosting, 24-7, 365 support, so you can call them or chat with them anytime, any time of the day or night, 365 days a year. Good prices, you get a much bigger discount if you go to my page than you normally would. I'll scroll down here, there it is right there, the page they made just for me. So a good option to consider if you happen to need web hosting. And talking about InMotion, here's their two name servers. I just copy one and then paste it in and then just change the number on the second one. If you happen to buy your hosting at HostGator, they will generally send you an email with your two name servers right here. So you would just copy one of them and then just change the number because they're always in sequence just like that. We'll use the InMotion hosting's name server, so I'm just going to copy this one right here. First one, of course, and all, all we'll have to do is just change this one number right here. We'll go to Namecheap. I've already signed into my account. Of course, you'll have to do that. I'll click on, I'll just click on my dashboard right here, this link right here hovering over my account up in the top left. I'll click on Domain List, and I'll find a domain which I'll kind of go through the process of changing the DNS on the domain name. So I'll click Manage, and you'll scroll down until you see Name Servers right here. Then you'll just click this arrow to open this up and then select Custom DNS. And then you'll enter in your two name servers right there. So I'll paste in the one. I'll paste it in again. Change one number to the two NSS2. So these are the two InMotion uh, name servers. And then I will just click this little arrow, this little green arrow right here, which will say Save. I'll go ahead and click on that. And just like it says right here, please allow you know a certain amount of time. It does mention right up here that... DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect, but I've never had it take anywhere near that long. They just kind of are covering their bases, but generally it's almost immediate. It kind of depends on your web host too, but generally it's almost immediately, but you might have to wait a little while. So just be prepared to wait a little while before you can access your account. Usually it's pretty quick. So like I said, this is a very simple process. If you do happen to have any comments or questions, leave them below the video in the video description. Give it a thumbs up or even a thumbs down if you don't like it. Just interact in some way. And as always, keep on keeping on and keep on smiling.